Some of the more colorful and controversial artistic expressions of the Pennsylvania Dutch are the geometric designs painted on barns, commonly known as hex signs. Were they painted on barns to ward off evil spirits? Or were they just an outward sign of a superstitious farming community looking for a divine intervention? In this truly American art form, it all depends on who you ask. Well, I kind of grew up in it. Uh, my dad's been doing it since I was two years old. So uh, over the years, I've helped cut the discs, clean the milk cans, prime the milk cans, draw the designs, go to shows, and eventually got to paint some of my own. And through the years now, I've been helping them a lot more often. And uh, eventually, I'll take it over. You know what, I like to paint the barns right now. It's like music, you either have it or you don't. I've taught several people and my sons have always watched me and, and Eric here has been real good at it. And he said, I'd like to take it over. I said, I want one of you to take it over because I ain't gonna be around all the time. And so I got Eric started. I didn't have to teach him much, believe me. He could teach me a few things. <laughs> he really is good at it and I'm very proud of him. The signs, people dream up their ideas too. There's all different things, but your main thing, the uh, stars represent good luck, good health, fertility of the crops. Uh, your, your tulips represent faith, faith, hope, and charity. Sometimes you'll see a serpent in the middle of the tulip. That was to keep you from the temptations of the evils of life. I took that out of mine, but... <laughs> But everybody has different ideas. Your distal fink is actually the goldfinch. And it uses thistle down for their nest and eats thistle seed. And so they call it their good luck bird or for good health. Hearts always represent love. Your scallop waters are the sea of life, smooth sailing through life. And there's all different ways that they make scallops and uh, some make a solid border. But uh, the border is supposed to be the sea of life, smooth sailing through life. And old Johnny Yacht that taught me, he used to say the Irish hex was a shamrock, which a lot of people don't know, which I didn't know either. The shamrock actually stands for the three leaf is God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. And the distal things are for good luck. And Johnny used to say the green border for the money we all love so well. <laughs> You know, it's funny, at, at the festival, you get all kinds of people. And there's crowds of people at the Kutztown Folk Festival. And I said to the girl at work for me, a little girl I had, she, she was terrific. Uh, and she said, what are you talking about, Johnny? I said, there's a character out there, I can see him. And he waited till the people went by, and a young couple. And he come up real serious like, he said, uh, Johnny, he said, I may sound like I'm crazy, but I want to know, he says, I read in a newspaper that you can make a fertility sign and uh, for people to have children. He said, my wife and I have been married four or five years now and nothing happens. I says, oh, come off it. He says, come on. He says, I know you can make one. I said, I'm not a prophet, I'm an artist. I'll make it if you believe in it, that's up to you. So I made, I had a son and rain there, a son and rain in fertility, and he bought it. And that was all, and then about five, six years later, Oh, it was more than that, maybe 10 years. The same guy comes back and he's got boom, boom, boom. He's got four little kids, one right after another. And his wife is pregnant and he's carrying my sign. He said, it's fade a little bit. And he says, hey, buddy, you remember me? I said, no, I don't. But I said, that's my sign. He said, you're darn right it is. He said, I asked for a child, not five or six of them. He said, here it is. You can have that's a true story. You can have it back. And I got a big kick out of that.